Hey Bearcat Nation, today we hear from C.V. Hayes, our homecoming princess. We take a look at quiz bowl. We can't forget junior high volleyball and football. And we caught up with a couple of our junior high cross country runners. I'm Jesse Smith. And I'm Jackson Longmire. It's time for the Bearcast. First, let's hear from our new 2024 Homecoming Princess, C.V. Hayes. When I first found out I was getting Homecoming Princess, I was super excited and ready to participate in all the homecoming activities. So when C.V. came to us and said she wanted to cheer, we didn't know what skills she would have, but she has been amazing. She's great on the sidelines. She loves to cheer on the Bearcats. She's an awesome back spot, and I think cheer has really been a great home for her. School spirit is essential because if you have school spirit, you can be more engaged in school activities. We now have a new junior high quiz bowl team. They practice every Wednesday after school from 3 to 4.30. They compete in regionals every February and the state national are May if they qualify. Let's hear from one of their new members. Um, I think quiz bowl will be fun, but it will be hard and time consuming. I think it'll be a fun thing to grow with friends and learn. Since Quiz Bowl is really random, I should say, there's a vast amount of topics, whether that be math or English or algebraic terms. There's a little bit of everything in Quiz Bowl and that helps me a ton in class. For me, Quiz Bowl was more focused around the people inside of it and less on the questions and tournaments. But I also enjoy the other aspects of Quiz Bowl. I think my best category is something along the lines of history or geography because I, I studied this stuff for two years around and it's been my favorite subject University ever since at Rock. fifth grade. Science and history. We'll be back with sports after this. It's time for sports. I'm Adley Dumond. I'm Cooper Gill. First, I think our field reporter, Kendall White, caught up with a member of the cross country team. Let's see who she found. Hey Bearcat Cast, I'm Kendall White and today I'm with Dexter Mello and we're gonna be asking him some questions about cross country. Dexter, what makes you a great athlete? My legs make me a great athlete. That's great. What do you think about your team this year? My team is pretty good this year. Last week, Brooklyn hosted both district and regionals for volleyball. Junior A played in the district matches, but seventh grade has only lost one on their season. Let's check it out. I think this year's team is very talented, um, and they're a lot of fun to coach and to be around, um, and it looks like it's gonna be a great year. 
They seem to communicate well on the court with, e with each other and during practices um, and during games. And there's not a lot of balls that hit the ground because nobody's calling them. So that's a good thing. Um, I think this year my volleyball team is very talented. We have a lot of girls that can do so many different things. It's just great. Off the court, we have really good communication, and on the court, we also do. Hey, I think our reporter Kendall caught up with another cross-country runner. Let's see who she found this time. Hey, Bearcat Cast, I'm Kendall White, and today I'm here with Eli Greasy, and we're going to be asking him some questions about cross-country. Eli, what makes you a great athlete? All the hard work that I've put in. That's great. What do you think about your team this year? I think that we're pretty good. We've I got 51st last time, and um, we've gotten second and fourth overall, and the girls are really good this year. That's great. Hey, Bearcat Cast, I'm Kendall White, and today I'm here with Eli Greasy, and we're going to be asking him some questions about cross country. Eli, what makes you a great athlete? All the hard work that I've put in. That's great. What do you think about your team this year? I think that we're pretty good. We've I got 51st last time, and um, we've gotten second and fourth overall, and the girls are really good this year. That's great. Okay, now let's take a look at a few of our 8th and 9th grade football highlights. That's all for sports. We'll be right back with Jesse and Jackson after this. Ethan Cooper, run another lap. Cooper, you need some water? No, nah, Coach, I'm good. Remember, Ethan, staying hydrated boosts your digestive system. Boost your athletic performance and keep your temperature constant. Remember, stay on That's all we have for today. Do you have anything to add, Jackson? Yes, we do. Choir auditions for all region are this weekend. If you are in choir and have already signed up. Archery begins next week, so if you're interested in that, come to the cafeteria on Monday and Tuesday. And basketball season begins in November. I'm Jesse Smith. And I'm Jackson Longmire.